Hey Capricorn, I hope you are doing amazing. I am coming to you with your reading. This is going to be a whatever comes out sort of freestyle reading. We're going to be drawing for a general sped, spread. Sped. Maybe you're speeding something up. Maybe something's getting faster for you. We've got the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. We're going to be taking a look with a general spread. <laughs> We're then going to be getting into your endeavours, your work, your career, that type of thing. Um, we're going to be looking at what could be new coming towards you, what you need to know. We also have the true emotional deck over here. And we've got the island time deck as well. Capricorn, thank you for watching in advance. If you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, I'm very grateful to have you here. Let's take a look at what Spirit wants you to know, Capricorn. Messages for the sign of Capricorn. Give me a general spread for the sign of Capricorn. Spirit, please guide and protect me as I channel the messages that Capricorn needs to know at this time. Tell me about Capricorn, please. Messages for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know? The lovers popped right out. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini. <clears throat> Queen of Wands. I'm hearing be at one with self. Be at one with self. Some of you could be going on a spa treatment or you need to book one or you've been thinking about booking one. Some of you could be feeling very centered right now. Six of Pentacles. Somebody could be gifting you a spa treatment weekend. Something like that. Somebody could be gifting you a holiday or a trip of some kind. <clears throat> because you deserve it. We've got the Strength card and the Seven of Pentacles. You've been very patient with something, Capricorn. Extremely patient. The High Priestess. We've got the Six of Cups. We've got the Five of Swords. Do you know something and you didn't say it? Or you know a secret and you kept it to yourself? Knight of Swords. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini, a Libra or an Aquarius. There's something about you keeping a secret for someone here. Or someone keeping a secret from you. There could have been some trickery going on behind the scenes and you kind of, um, you kept it to yourself. Maybe somebody was trying to trick you and you kept it to yourself. You knew exactly what was going on in the past and you kept it to yourself. Some of you could be dealing with a Pisces. Some of you could be dealing with a fire sign, an Aries, a Leo or a Sagittarius. Strong Leo and Gemini is here as well. <clears throat> It's like you caught on to a game. Maybe someone didn't know you as intuitive or someone didn't know that you as tapped in or as in the know as what you, you are. You're coming out as the high priestess and the queen of wands. People could view you as a little bit witchy or someone who's into metaphysics or someone who's just um, spiritual. Could just be spiritual, wherever you are on that timeline. Or I said timeline, wherever you are. Maybe you're transitioning for me to say timeline. Wherever you are on the scale, okay? <clears throat> hmm. There's something about you knowing something and you not making it known. Maybe you caught up, caught up on some sort of game. You caught onto someone's game. You knew more than what you was letting on. And because of the way that you kind of held yourself in the past, there's something about you being kind of i'm hearing recompensed what does that mean reimburse i don't know what recompense means maybe it means the same thing recompense there's something about how you've moved in the past that is meaning that with the six of pentacles now you're you're being given something six six is very significant you could be seeing those numbers 66 could be very significant to you there's something about the past and how you carried yourself. It's like you could have 
you could have really laid into someone or really played a game back, but you chose not to. You chose to know what you know and move with integrity. And therefore, you are now being blessed by the universe. You're being blessed. Some of you are feeling really good aesthetically right now. You could have attained some sort of body um, goal or something. Maybe you have you wanted to gain weight, lose weight, tone up a bit, something like that. You could be feeling yourself right now. Some of you could be thinking about getting a new wardrobe. Maybe you're feeling a little bit like you need some sort of revamp to your look. But there's definitely something about you being very patient here and you waiting the course for something. Somebody could have tried to play games with you and it's like you waited to get the last laugh. You, you've had the last laugh, Capricorn. Tell me about this Five of Swords. This is interesting. What is this Five of Swords, Capricorn? The Four of Cups in the reverse. It's like you didn't react. You didn't react to someone's game, but you knew what they were doing. What was what was happening here? Seven of Swords, that's what was happening here. Deception, lies, trickery. You knew this as well. You knew this, but you chose to not say anything or keep it to yourself. Somebody tried to um, play you. Five of Swords and the Seven of Swords. But you pretended as though you didn't see them playing you. It's almost like you allowed someone to fall into their own trap, Capricorn. The moon, yeah. What was hidden? What did this person try to do to you? The world. What did this person try to do? Queen of Swords. Why? Could be a Gemini, Libra or an Aquarius, definitely. Ace of Cups in the reverse. The Sun. Could be a Leo. The Devil. They tried to tarnish your light. This could be a Capricorn. They tried to tarnish your light. The devil is Capricorn energy. And with the sun card, this could have been a Leo. Sorry, I broke my nail today. Yeah, could have been a Leo. They tried to tarnish your name. See how the devil card came out right next to the sun. This person was kind of trying to influence how people viewed you. There was something, I, I, I mean, the question was here. What did this person try to do? What were they doing? There's a strong energy of you knowing that somebody was playing with you, knowing that somebody was sabotaging you or getting wind of the fact that somebody was not the best to be around. Something about someone's energy here. You caught onto it, but you didn't speak a word of it. You watched, you waited, you bided your time, but you kept them in close proximity to you to, to kind of, kind of um, peep the scene type of thing. And you didn't react with the Four of Cups. And with the Seven of Swords, you know, what was this person trying to do? The World card, trying to end something. They were trying to end something. And the Queen of Swords came out with the Ace of Cups in the reverse. You could be, you could do something like speaking. If you're on a platform of some kind, some of you could do spiritual work with High Priestess and Queen of Wands being there. You could read tarot. You could be, be into metaphysics. You know, you could be spiritual. You could be learning tarot. You could have um, be on some sort of spiritual path or religious path, whatever you um, want to classify as um, for you. With the Queen of Swords and the Ace of Cups, it's almost like this person wanted to tarnish you, tarnish your words, tarnish you. This could have been a person who was flat out lying, saying that you're not who you say you are to other people. This is a person who was trying to darken your light. It's like they saw something in you, but you kind of, um, you caught on, you caught on.
everything is fine and the four of pentacles it's like you held it in you knew someone was betraying you you knew someone was not genuine you knew someone was moving with crap vibes and you kept it to yourself four of pentacles you played this very very smart nine of swords this person's shaking in their boots this person could know now that you are intuitive yeah the hierophant they now know how wise you are. This is a person who's kind of seeing you in your glory. This could be a person who has come to know that you are more wise than what you let on or more wise than what they had you down as. Something like that. You caught on. Why is this person coming up in the reading? Why? Why? Five of Cups. The Queen of Cups. Because then now they feel bad. Now they feel bad. This could be a person who's seeing you give your attention, your nurture elsewhere. Even if this is a friend, this doesn't have to be romantic. To be honest, I'm not even getting a strong romantic vibe with this person. This could be even a feminine energy, a friend here. Maybe you're a feminine energy and you had a friend. Or this could have been even a family member. This was somebody who was trying to dictate some sort of narrative or speak some sort of um, false falseness to your life something like that to, to control how people liked you how you were viewed with the ace of cups this is a person who didn't want people to like you so they kind of was casting some sort of darkness over your light over who you were as a character over who you were as a person and this is a person who now regrets doing this because it's like character kind of People can say whatever they want to say about people, especially where it comes to negative and throwing negative energy and talking down on people and what they've got going on and talking about people. But at the end of the day, character kind of prevails. And I just feel like in this case, Capricorn, your character hasn't changed. You've maintained some sort of um, care, nurture. You know, people possibly, possibly see that you're for the people. You could be very generous as well, Six of Pentacles. And from the, with the Six of Cups being there, there's something about the Six of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. There's been some sort of continuance where people have consistently seen you be generous. They've consistently seen you stay reasonably in the same energy. Be very giving. Be very caring. Be very um, grateful for what you have. You know, be open handed in terms of receiving and giving. You know, you give. You're not you're not stingy. Time, attention, care, nurture. And character never lies. Character never lies, okay? So always remember, and I'm sure I don't need to tell you this, because who I'm speaking to here, who I'm picking up on here, you are more smart than what this person ever gave you credit for. So this person was the fool at the end of the day because they didn't see this coming. What you've got to realise is no amount of lies, deception, um, speaking on your name, speaking ill on you, um, tarnishing your reputation, defamation of character, dragging you through the mud, saying you did this, you didn't do this, whether it's true, not true, making people look at you, putting some sort of spotlight on you. The spotlight is definitely on you, but this is the type of vibe that maybe they have attracted attention to you. You have played them at their own game through not even saying anything, just being very wise and knowing how you move around a certain individual. And now you're sitting on some sort of pedestal where you're getting offers. Okay, partnerships, very balanced, feminine, masculine energies on point, on check, you know, in check, strength card. You're showing your fortitude. You're showing your character. And this is something that you could have you could have heard all sorts of smack about your name through the mud from every Tom, Dick and Harry out there. People could have been, you know, he he says I can never say that without getting tongue tied. <laughs> he say she say. <laughs> and. You know, you didn't say a thing. You didn't say a word. There's a closed energy. You kept your mouth shut when it needed to be kept shut. This is a thing where you just allowed your character to show what it needed to show. Character prevails. No amount of defamation of character speaking on a person's life. Dragging them through the mud. 
can ruin real character, especially when it's genuine. People can only wear a mask for a time. It's it's a given, you know, four of swords. And now this person is having to reflect and think. They're very regretful. They're extremely regretful here because it's like your character, how caring you are, how giving you are, who you are is showing. Especially, there's another, there's there's an energy here of psychic, you know, you could be a medium, you could be very tapped in spiritual, you know yourself. And because you know yourself and you've met yourself to that, to that depth, it's like, you know a lot of things. Very, very wise. Page of Wands. A lot of you are starting fresh some of you could have moved some of you are working on something new you could be in an energy of renewal right right now there's something about you wanting to renew something renew your wardrobe renew your look renew possibly what you've got going on your surroundings a lot of you could be thinking about a makeover of some kind you know something like that page of swords and people are watching you're turning heads because it's like he, somebody could have really painted you out to not be who you who you are and this is a person who, you know, now watches you and other people are now watching you. And it's like the proof is in the pudding with the eight of pentacles. Yeah, you're changing people's perspective without even realising it just by focusing on what you've got going on with the eight of pentacles. The eight of pentacles talks about consistency. Again, there's a continuance. How you was in the past is also how you are now. That caring energy, that compassionate energy. This person here. The one with the heart on the sleeve. The one who's generous, who gives, who's open-handed. Okay, and whatever this person tried to say, this was somebody who was trying to steal your light. They were trying to steal your light. Possibly so they could be looked upon as favourable. Not a nice character, okay? Let's grab you some on this. On this, on this, on this. Messages for Capricorn. I do feel like you've moved away from this person and you see them clearly, karmic lesson. This person's definitely learning from this, okay? Not happy. They're not happy that they've shown their own behind to you and to whoever else. Psycho, crazy ex, obsessed, won't let go. I'm not getting an ex vibe, but if it fits, take it as it resonates. If this is an ex, this could have well have been that this person could have betrayed you, tried to make it look as if it was the other way around, tried to tarnish you somehow um, because they felt bitter or they felt like, wow, I've messed up here. Let me say something to kind of save face to the people around me. Feeling like crap. Feeling like crap. Twin flame. Love message. Maybe you might get an apology from this person. This does actually tell me apology. GPS, yeah, they could be making their way towards you to apologise. I don't think you want this person back around you because I feel like it's been a minute. There's been some sort of time lapse between this happening and I feel like this person's actually picking up on the fact that you wasn't as silly as what they possibly had you down as. We've got love message. This screams apology to me. Regrets. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. I shouldn't have done this. I should have done this. Hmm. Wow. You kept your mouth shut and that was the best thing you could have done. Right, let's take a look at your endeavours, your projects, things that you've got going on. Massive regrets. As I look here, look at this. I shuffled the deck and that's just sitting there. Wow. Whoever that is, they regret. They regret that. Whatever it is that they, they did to you. We've got the Ace of Swords.
Ooh, the tower. The sun. Oh, some of you have got some really good communication coming in. Six of cups. Something, again, that you've worked on in the past. Yeah, that nine of pentacles energy. Let's give you one more. What is this tower? Oh. The six of swords. Yeah, there's a big energy of here, here of you transitioning and things actually having some sort of knock-on effect to some sort of new beginning, a breakthrough, something that you're not expecting. It's almost like you feel like you're going to feel as though things are going better than what you even anticipated. I feel like you're a Capricorn who's been putting in a lot of work to transform. There's a big energy of transformation here, as I picked up on. And I think it's kind of all round. With the Ace of Swords, there's some sort of, you know, conscious decision that you've made to transform, to change. Um, and this is going to be benefiting you. This is something that's going to be... Um, coming into fruition for you there's a lot of harvest here and again there's an energy as, of you doing right in the past there's something about you being very gracious in the past you hold being very poised no matter what was thrown at you something like that and as you transition it's like you know a lot of good things are going to start happening and I feel like this is going to be back to back Capricorn I feel like you're just going to be getting news upon news about different things that are going to be coming in especially if you've been working on multiple things here ten of wands yeah it's been difficult but you've been juggling the plates eight of swords there's a transformation to stagnancy if you was feeling like you couldn't do something that is going to be dissipating here and you're going to find some sort of new way of doing things moving forward it's almost like you know, when you get this news, yeah, the Queen of Pentacles, when you get this news of a breakthrough happening, it's like, oh my gosh, my hard work wasn't in vain. Now let me do this. It's going to kind of spur you on personally to kind of keep going. There's something about that here. And with the Queen of Pentacles, you're definitely sitting pretty after maybe a period of you feeling stagnant or feeling like you wasn't sure what happens next, but you knew something needed to happen. The star, I can't make it up. Very auspicious. You're being blessed. Yeah, the Emperor. Wow, you are bossing up. Five of Pentacles, yeah. Anybody who left you out in the cold possibly didn't choose you, okay? Especially where it comes to opportunities. Maybe you were rejected in the past. Maybe you had communication from various avenues that, you know, this isn't for you or this is not going to come through for you and that. That is about to turn around in a very big way. With the Two of Cups, you're going to get a multitude, a magnitude even, of people wanting to come in and work with you. Some of you could be breaking through some sort of threshold. Some of you, if you've never had a position of authority within a workplace, this is changing from the Queen of Pentacles right up to the Emperor and the tower this is something that's going to be unexpected to you it's like you're going to be doing something where it's going to go way better than what you expected it to go six of swords this is going to be like the beginning of some sort of new life the two of pentacles and the six of pentacles and this is because you've been juggling the plates this is because of how generous you've been how grateful you've been the ability to still give and receive the ability to still show grace even when things didn't go your way, if you are a person who was still very generous with other people who still gave, still gave your time, your all, your effort, despite maybe things not working out for you. You know those people who clap for other people despite going through a real crap time? Five of sorts. Yeah, adversity. You know, a lot of people could have done you dirty in the past. One thing I've always tried to live my life um, um, like I had a I had a brain I had brain fog just there. I don't know what happened. One thing I try to live by is I've been through hard times, you know, I've been through hard times myself. I wouldn't be able to sit here and kind of um do this if I had hadn't. And most tarot readers that you see have possibly come from a product of really going through trauma, really going through events in their life that have kind of seen 
that the journey has taken them to where you see them. And one thing I've always done is no matter how crap things have gone, five of pentacles, rejection, hard times, derelict, not really knowing what's going on, okay? Always celebrate other people's wins. Just because you are not having a good time or you may be going through hard times, it is so important. It is so important to clap for other people. Even when you don't feel like it, even when you feel like your life is possibly less desirable than what you might want it to be. And I'm talking to a Capricorn. You've clapped when people have been winning around you and you were, you were yet to get there until now and the reason why that's so important is because when you do get there the victory is oh so sweet it's sweet and you deserve it because you've not been side-eyeing people's achievements somebody announces something they're getting married or this wedding and that wedding and they're going here and they're going there and they've got this new promotion they've got this new job and they're doing whatever and now they're earning this amount of money be happy for people it's so important be happy for people be happy for people because when your blessing comes in it's, des it's deserved you've not been side-eyeing other, pe other people's um, achievements You've not been looking at other people like, mm, I wish that was me. Maybe you do wish it was you. But clap for other people. Very important. Your breakthrough's coming. I don't know what to tell you, Capricorn. I don't know what to tell you. You've got a breakthrough here. And for some reason, I felt inclined to say that. I clap for other people. And I feel like I'm talking to a, a Capricorn who's been clapping for other people. And now it's the time for you to be clapped for, Temperance. The divine sees all. Anything new for Sagittarius? High Priestess. I'm telling you, you've got an inner knowing. Six of Swords. Yeah. You, you could be get, experiencing some sort of spiritual upgrade. Transformation to your spirituality here. Your downloads could be sharpening. You could be transitioning into some sort of higher, I'm hearing octave, higher octave of spirituality. Some of you could be meeting, um, breaking some sort of threshold in terms of, you know, your knowing, your downloads. Some of you could be realizing that you're more intuitive, like you think of something and then it happens. There's a big transformation energy that's that's coming through. Five of Cups. People are not going to be happy for this transformation. There's going to be a lot of people regretful, sad, you know, hurt, hurt over you moving forward. There's some sort of change that's going on with you at this time. And a lot of people are viewing you in high regard. The high priestess is somebody who is respected, okay? It's like people know to respect you when they come into your presence. And I feel like it's it's very much earned. That respect is earned due to the way you've carried yourself. You should be very, very proud of who you're becoming. You should. The hanged one in the reverse. You are shifting people's perspectives. And as a result of that, it's like, you know, people are watching you move forward. People are watching you flourish. People are watching you transform. And it's like... The same people who could have maybe have doubted you, you know, maybe not chosen you, maybe kind of rejected you, are the people who are, you know, seeing you in this really respected light now. And these people are kind of getting ready to see you respected by people who value you, especially if these people rip you off or, or kind of had you down as being not intelligent. You are proving some people wrong. You are proving some people wrong here. Nine of Pentacles wanted to come out. The sun. Oh, this sun wants to be here. You clapped for other people. You clapped for other people. That's what I keep hearing. And because of that, this is why you're getting this. This is why you're sitting in this energy of 
being respected because you've earned it. You've earned it, Capricorn, the magician. You definitely could be spiritual. Some of you could do magic, whatever this is, spiritual work, tarot, whatever this is. And you're amazing. You're amazing. You're amazing at what you do. This wants to be seen. Yeah. Legal matters, divorce, property, criminal, paternity, child support, traffic ticket. Rejected. You're not down for the BS is what I'm getting. Anybody who, who is low vibrational is what I'm getting from this. It's a no. You're too high vibing. You're too high vibing. I'm hearing like a grandma with a peppermint. <laughs> Bumping heads. Yeah. Anything that's going to cause you bumps, delays, it's a no. True colours, trap. Yeah. They fell yeah yeah this is we're full circle yeah cope somebody is sitting i don't know who this is to you from that first spread somebody is sitting with what they've done okay somebody's sitting with what they've done and this is a person who tried to maybe pull the wool over your eyes who tried to maybe have you down as somebody who wasn't as intelligent as what you are true colors and trap they fell into their own hole that they dug for you they dug you a hole they were trying to sabotage you, could have had your name deep in their throat, yeah, talking on you, you had the last laugh, because you stayed poised, you kept your mouth shut, you clapped for other people when it mattered, and because of that, this is what's to come, you did the work, King of Pentacles, you did the work. That is you, Capricorn. Capricorn, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Wow, this blew me away. If you like how I read, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. But until next time, I will see you soon. Take care, Cap. Bye.